Alright, <clears throat> what is up YouTube? It's Music and Mayhem here, and today I'm speaking out on something that I've been seeing going around the internet that's really got me fucking pissed off. Now, bear in mind, I am not bashing Linkin Park in any way. They've been one of the biggest influences in me doing my own music for since as long as I can remember. I've been listening to their music since literally the very fucking beginning of their career. Like, I've literally been listening since the late 90s, okay? So I've been around for everything. And I can tell you all this, yes, after Chester's passing, we didn't know what was going to happen. You know, we didn't know what the band was going to do. You know, we didn't know if they were still going to continue on. And, you know, as of a week ago, they decided to continue on. And they found a new vocalist under the name of Emily Armstrong. Now, I've seen a lot of people bashing on Emily, and this is where my fucking issue lies with you motherfuckers bashing on her. Y'all stupid fuckheads need to shut the fuck up and stop fucking bashing on Emily. Just because she used to be tied to Danny Masterson, who did some really bad shit, doesn't give you guys the right to fucking bitch. Y'all seriously need to shut the fuck up and grow up. It ain't about what Emily did. It ain't about who she used to be connected to. It's about the fucking music. That's what it's always been about is the goddamn music. And to Chester's son, Jamie, you need to shut the fuck up, dude. Just because she used to be a part of Scientology doesn't give you the right to fucking bitch like a punk. You stupid fucking idiot. You seriously need to shut the fuck up. Mike is doing what he can to carry on your dad's fucking legacy. And I'm sorry if you don't like the way that it's going down, but you need to stop the fucking bitching. Your mom supports the band. So why ain't you, motherfucker? Your own mom, Talinda, is supporting the band. Why ain't you? How about you set your fucking differences aside? All y'all sitting there bashing on Emily, bashing on the band, saying that they're shit for this and that and the other. Y'all seriously need to shut the fuck up and stop the fucking bitching. What y'all need to realize is there will never be another Chester Bennington. As sad as it is to say, there will never be another Chester. Ever. And the band needs to move on. They need to move on and progress. Every band has progression in their life cycle. Everybody from ACDC, ZZ Top, uh, fucking, obviously Lincoln Park. Like, every band has chapters and they need to be able to progress. You guys are doing the exact same shit that you guys did when the One More Light album came out. You guys were bitching and whining that it wasn't their original stuff. It wasn't their, you know, their albums of Hybrid Theory and Meteora. Which, don't get me wrong, I love Meteora. I love Hybrid Theory. I have both albums on CD. Both amazing albums. But you can't hold a band back to one style and sound for their entire fucking career. Every band evolves in some way. Whether it's sonically through their sound, whether it's members. Every band 
progresses in some fucking way. So y'all stupid little fuckheads out here bitching about Emily and who she used to be connected to? Y'all need to shut that shit the fuck down, dude. Because Mike and the rest of the band are only trying to do what they feel is right for the fucking band. They're not out here trying to be like, oh, we want, we want to got this. No, y'all need to shut the fuck up. Yes, she's a chick. Who gives a flying fuck? She's talented. She's good at what she does. And quite honestly, I like the new song they dropped, man. I love that music video. I love the Emptiness Machine. Amazing shot. Amazing song. She fucking killed it. So all y'all stupid little whiny snot-nosed bitches on the fucking internet need to stop bitching about who she used to be connected to and look at how she is as an artist look at how she is as a vocalist dude it ain't about your background it ain't about your history it's about the fucking art dude it's about the music that's what it's all about now am i backing danny masterson hell no i want to beat that dude's fucking ass do I support Scientology? No. I've never been a part of it, nor am I connected to it. Never have been, never will be connected to any of that shit. But y'all dumbasses need to shut the fuck up and stop your fucking bitching. Stop your ranting and raving and whining and crying. You know, and I'm, I'm going to say what Mike and the rest of the band are probably thinking. Get the fuck over it. There will never be another Chester. And that does suck. Yes. But you can't live in the fucking past forever, motherfuckers. You need to move forward. You need to continue on. The band is doing what they feel is right for them. And who are we as fans to judge what they fucking do? You guys ain't in the band. I'm not in the band. As fans, we should support what they are doing. Not sit here and fucking bash on them. And you know what's funny? The same motherfuckers that used to support Linkin Park back in the day are now the same ones bashing on them. Which is sad. The y'all motherfuckers that used to support them back in the day are now bashing on them. Because, all because their lead vocalist used to have ties to Danny Masterson, which she came out and said she has no ties to him anymore. So grow the fuck up and shut the fuck up. She doesn't have ties to him anymore. That should be enough. She shouldn't have to answer for every little fucking goddamn thing that she's been a part of. Her past is her past. Grow the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And enjoy the music. Stop fucking bitching about every little thing that goes wrong. Like I said, I understand that it's not Chester. There never will be another Chester Bennington. And I completely understand that. You know? Like you guys. Just like you guys. I miss Chester dearly. When we lost Chester, we didn't just lose, we didn't just lose a vocalist. We didn't just lose an icon. We didn't just lose a musician. We lost a friend. Okay? And I understand how y'all feel. I do. I get it. But also, you need to understand that Linkin Park needs to progress in their music, in their life. Now, am I aware of what Danny Masterson has done? Yes. 
Do I support him? No. Like I said, I would love to beat that dude's ass. I really would. But just because somebody used to have ties to him and doesn't anymore, that doesn't give you guys the fucking right to bitch and whine and complain. You guys seriously need to grow the fuck up, shut the fuck up, and enjoy the fucking music, dude. Especially you, Jamie Bennington. You need to grow the fuck up and realize that Mike and the rest of the band are trying to carry on your father's legacy the way that he would have fucking wanted them to do. He would have wanted them to continue on the legacy that he left for them to continue on. So, shut the fuck up, bro. Stop your fucking whining and your bitching. Be fucking supportive. Like I said, your own mom, Talinda, supports the band. So why can't you set your differences aside and support what they're trying to do? They're not out here trying to do bad things. They're out here trying to continue on your father's legacy. They're trying to continue on in the best way that they know how. And I'm sorry if you feel some type of way about what I'm saying, but guess what? I don't fucking care. They came back after seven years of grief and mourning of the loss of your father. And to the fans, I say this. It's been seven fucking years. Since Chester's passing in 2017. So I ask you this. Who are we to fucking bitch? And whine and complain? We should be celebrating that they're back. We should be celebrating and happy that they are dropping a brand new album. Not fucking all up in arms just because of the past of a fucking vocalist. Just because one of their members has a past with certain people that are in prison and with a certain religion that she no longer has anything to do with. We shouldn't be focusing on, oh, Emily used to be part of this. Emily used to be tied to this guy. Fuck that, dude. Who gives a fuck? No one gives a fuck who she used to be tied to. Literally no one fucking cares. The only ones that care are you stupid motherfuckers that want to try to dictate, oh, the band needs to do this, the band needs to do that, man, shut the fuck up. You don't know what's right for the band. Just like I don't know what's right for the band. The only ones that knows what's best for them are Mike, Emily, and the rest of the band. They're the only ones that know what's truly right for them. And they're doing what they can to make the best of what they got. They're trying to make the best out of a shitty situation. So to all y'all out there bitching and whining and complaining and, you know, complaining about what's going on, just shut the fuck up and enjoy the music or go the fuck somewhere else because no one wants to hear your fucking bitching, okay? Either enjoy the music and stop your bitching or go the fuck somewhere else. Because I think I speak for all Lincoln Park fans when I say we want to hear awesome music. We want to see what this band can do now that they are moving forward. And to Jamie Bennington, I say this. You need to shut the fuck up. Okay? Am I aware of what Danny Masterson did? Am I aware of the whole Scientology thing? Yes. But at the end of the day, that should not matter. What should matter is your father's friends, Mike and the rest of Lincoln Park, are trying to continue on your dad's legacy in the best way that they know how. 
So how about you sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, stop your bitching and your whining and complaining like a fucking coward ass bitch. Like a little whiny fucking bitch. And actually do what your mom is doing and showing support for the band. If you don't, if you can't do that, well then I don't know what the fuck to tell you, dude. But you need to stop your fucking bullshit. They're trying to do what they can. With what they have left. They're trying to make the best out of a shitty fucking situation. And I don't care if I get backlash from this. I welcome it. I welcome the backlash. I welcome the shitty fucking comments because I would love to see any one of y'all real ass Linkin Park fans step up and say that I'm not. I would love to see you guys say that I'm wrong and what I'm saying. Because like I said, it shouldn't matter what a person did in their past. That shouldn't fucking mean jack shit when it comes to moving forward and creating. Emily Armstrong is one of the best vocalists that I've seen team up with Linkin Park in fucking years, dude. She is fucking good. She is talented. She has what it fucking takes. Who the fuck are we to judge? Mike and the rest of Linkin Park chose her for a reason. Because she has talent. She has skill. And yes, she has some pretty big shoes to fill. So, who are we to hold her back from taking on that role and seeing what comes of what she's able to do? Who are we to judge the band on their decisions? That's not our place. That's not my place. That's not your guys' place. That's the band's place to judge. Not yours. Not mine. Not anybody else's. So if y'all out there want to sit down and whine and bitch and complain, do it to yourselves, man. Because like I said before, who the fuck are we to judge a band on what they're doing and how they're moving and how they're progressing? Nobody on this fucking earth is perfect. We all have done fucked up shit. We have all made mistakes. We've all done shit that we shouldn't have done. That doesn't give you the right to judge someone else. Because half y'all motherfuckers have done bad shit too. Whether it puts you in jail or didn't put you in jail, it don't matter the level of that. We've all done fucked up shit. We've all done shit that we're not proud of. We've all done shit that we regret. So who the fuck are we to judge a vocalist who's trying to carry on the legacy of one of the best vocalists of all fucking time? One of the greatest vocalists of all fucking time. Who the fuck are we to judge what she's trying to do? Emily's trying to carry on a legacy. But you guys sitting here judging her, you guys aren't giving her that fair chance that she deserves. So I say this one last time. Shut the fuck up. Stop your fucking bitching. And show support for the band. Like seriously. Show some real fucking support for the band. And stop your goddamn bitching. It's not your place to judge. It is not my place to judge. It is the band's place to judge. They know what they're doing. We should let them do their fucking job. Instead of sitting here bitching. And if you don't like what I have to say, well guess what? I'm fucking sorry. Oh wait, no I'm not. I will die on what I just said. I will straight up die on what I just said. You guys don't have any more right to judge than I do. At all. So shut the fuck up. 
stop your bitching and grow the fuck up and enjoy the music.